welcome to the the one block and this uh, this session for installing the pre-requirements for SCCM uh, 2012 so the first pre-requirement what I'm going to install is IIS so IIS can be installed from roles uh, add a role and then I don't want to you know skip this because I don't want to see every time that so you can check this and then click next and you can take the required components uh, especially into the windows authentication basic authentication as well as the all the is6 compatible uh, engine settings and uh, you know uh, that should you know uh, more than enough to continue with the uh, is features and then get install it so that would uh, actually install the yeah the is yeah just got install is now uh, the next one is I wanted to install the uh, SQL. So let's go to SQL. Insert this. Uh, I have my lab here. Uh, inside my lab dump, I have all the ISO files. Here I can choose as uh, SQL uh, version, which is. I can just want to insert my SQL 2012 full. This is the CD. And then uh, just go to the SQL Server, click on Next. Uh, it gets installed the required pre requirements. Okay, I just clicked on you know install the program, and then I'm waiting for the window to come up. Okay, yeah. so it's starting the setup. Okay, uh, once this window is open, click on the installation in the left side and choose as the standalone SQL Server. And if you have a cluster and all those things, you know, you should be doing another uh, way of installation. Okay, I just clicked on the SQL new server standalone installation. I'm waiting for the you know, wizard to run. So, wizard is processing my files right away. So, it's just checking the rules, and I could see that uh, it is processing all the required uh, checks. Yeah. So it has successful uh, all the pre requirements or the required things has been passed then it is ready to run the sql installation so let it run yeah it's proceeding the current installation since i use everything as evolution uh because it it is it works at least one it day so just click on next accept the installation then wait for check update since it is checking for the updates we can wait for some time Yeah, it has installed 